What's going on, guys and girls? Today I'm doing a reaction to Mac Miller Self Care. Um, went ahead and liked the video. Uh, let's see here, Warner Warner Brother Records. Um, I thought I'd do a reaction on some Mac Miller. Because, you know, I never really listened to him. And, uh, you know, I just watched uh, this dude's little documentary on him. And I was like, you know what? Let's do some reactions. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a separate reaction channel for reactions. I may. So, if this is on uh, a brand new channel, welcome to the channel. Um... And yeah, so let's hop over here to Genius to see what the song is about. Self-care is Max spreading a message about overcoming hardships, self-control, and being aware of how to handle yourself. When tweeting about their relationship, Ariana states that Max's inability to keep his shit together was a significant reason why the relationship broke down. And self-care could also be Max's way of trying to learn from that mistake. In the music video that was released along with the single, Mac is buried in a pine box to symbolize how the media tried to assassinate his character. In the casket, Mac lights a cigarette despite having no sorts of oxygen, displaying that he is confident that he will overcome his obstacles and make it out. With his knife, he carves Memento Mori into the lid, which translates to remember that you have to die and he punches through it to save himself, a symbol showing that he refuses to die anytime soon. Damn. Oh, J.I.D.? He had J.I.D. on there? He was probably doing, um, little ad-libs or something. Shit. I like J.I.D. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, Hop on to the song. See what this is about. Oh, this is, um... This little scene's inspired by Kill Bill, I think. I've never seen Kill Bill. But I've seen, like, a little snippet from Kill Bill of this. I never liked Max Older music. This beat is insane. The music video so far is pretty damn good. The music so far is pretty damn good. Yeah. Well, climbing over that wall. Mm. I remember, yes, I remember, yes, I remember it all. Swear the hype is too tall. So like September, I fall. Down below, now I know that the medicine be on call. Yeah. Who's feeling like you hot enough to melt? Yeah. I think it's super split. This song is amazing. I really like this. Yeah, I've been reading them signs. I've been losing my, I've been losing my, I've been losing my mind. Yeah. Get the fuck 
fuck out the way. Must be this how to play. It must be nice up above the lights. I would have loved the life that I made, yeah. I know that feeling like a semi family tree, yeah. That Mercedes drove me crazy, I was speeding. Ooh, that's uh, a reference to him crashing his G Wagon after he broke up, after uh, the breakup with Ariana. He was drunk as shit. He was actually twice over the limit. Which I don't know how fuck, I don't know how drunk that is. So, I don't know. I wouldn't even know. I don't really, I don't, I've never really drank. Not even really beers. I've had a couple beers before. Like two beers in one sitting, that's it. I don't really like drinking underage. I don't know. I'm not a rebel, I guess. Save me from myself, yeah. Tell them they can take that bullshit elsewhere. Self care. We're gonna be good. Hell yeah. They let me. Does he, did he produce, I think he did produce this album himself, I think. In the documentary, I think, actually, he asked someone to make, like, water-type beats for him, which is why the album's called Swimming, so I guess he didn't do the beats himself. Whoever did the this beat, man. Didn't yeah. know I was now I see a little different, I was... Taking too much, got stuck in a baby on ya, yeah. Baby on ya, yeah. Baby on ya, yeah. I got all the time in the world, so for now I'm just chilling. Plus, I know it's a, it's a beautiful feeling. And the baby on ya, yeah. That's dope. Shit. Um, that was a really good song. Damn. This song brought me to eventually telling everyone I've had an opiate problem for the past few years. Starting my journey to get clean. That's what's up.
Yep, Juice World. Fuck, man. And uh, I learned that Juice World actually swallowed several Percocets to hide in, hide them from the feds, which that that's fucked, man. Cause he knew, as he swallowed those pills, he knew that could be the end. You don't just swallow a fucking several pills like that. Man. That's fucked up. It, it still fucks me that Juice World's dead. That's crazy. Lil Peep. X. Mac Miller. Nipsey. I didn't really listen to Nipsey. Now Juice World. It's, it's crazy and it really it fucks with me because I'm not even 19 yet man I turned 19 in 13 days it's December 10th and all these rappers X was still is my favorite ever dude it's the drugs gotta stop it's so fucked up waking up to seeing Juice World dead was not cool. Gotta stop the pills, man. Gotta stop the lean. Gotta stop all that shit. It's not good. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It's gonna be my birthday soon, so subscribe to the new channel. Hit that like button. Um. I'll look around and see what I want to react to next. Uh, drop some comments. Uh, what you want? What you want me to see? Don't drop any fucking Lil Pump or Blueface or any mumble rap bullshit, because I will not react to it. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Um, that was a really good music video, and that was a really good song. Um, I, didn't, I never liked Mac Miller's songs until the Good Am album. His real old stuff, I, just, I couldn't like. It was... Uh, but 2015 and up, I think his music's pretty good. Uh, so, anyway, if you hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know what I'm saying. It is 4.30 in the morning, and I'm fucking tired. I hope I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one.